although as part of the refurb I did on this getaway, I was replacing the supercharger board, driver board, and dislodged one of the wires on the plug. So um, this is just a quick video to show for those who don't know how to crimp, um, how to crimp and replace a Molex plug, um, crimping the terminals, um, and where to find the information on the wires. So in my haste to um, change the board over, I managed to dislodge two of the plugs on the J8 plug that goes into the accelerator board. Um, I didn't take a picture of them ahead of time, so I don't know where the plugs go. So, And I'm going to end up just replacing the plug rather than trying to jam it in. So I'll do that. At, um, I've got the, the crimping tools and get those all in, the connector pins. So I'm going to start off by just getting a nice clean bit of wire, so I'm just cut it off where, because the wire is a bit burnt on it, all of them, and very fragile, and therefore it's not doing anyone any favours. And then I'll strip back each of the wires to a point where I can get the crimping on. So I've effectively got this crimping tool, let me zoom out a little bit, the crimping tool and the connectors have two parts to it. You can see one that grips onto the wire, the metal to make the connection for the electricity to flow and the other to hooks onto the bits of insulation plastic which secures it and be, is, is super tight. So what the best way to do it in my view is it goes in upside down and it simply sits in and then you if you've got one of these tools which is a bit of a ratchet it will sit in there by itself and then you simply place the wire into the um, the gap left by underneath here to the point where the plastic is gone just in enough and then just simply crimp down and you'll see that it then crimps down two parts it so basically crimps down to two parts where it's crimped on the back of the wire as well as making a good solid connection upside down, crimp it down, ratchet it down a bit get the wire, pop it in Okay, and that then comes out and Rob, you're good to go. So now that the crimping's done, you go back to your manual and see on J8 plug which colors go where. So we're going to get plug J8 pin 1 is blue brown, blue yellow, and then blue red in pins 1, 2 and 4 respectively with the pin 3 being the pin where that's being keyed out so you know that it's starting from the top down so 1, 2, 3 um, so we're going to go from there and when you look at your plug you'll see the plug has got smooth side on the one side and one with a little ridge in it that ridge goes against the other plastic portion so that it actually clips in so you know that that's the direction that you want to go so literally I take the first one which is my blue brown go and find my blue brown which is this one and simply slip it in So you can see now I have the plug in there. There's only three wires in this plug. And that simply goes in. And Bob's your uncle. 